All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Revengers episode 13. Oh my god, the last episode was insane. It ruined me. It absolutely ruined me. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to go now, how Takamichi's and what's going to happen with him when he goes back in time. Um, I feel like it's we're halfway through the season, halfway kind of point, and this happens. I feel like something just it's just going to Takamichi is just going to wipe his tears, and shit's going to change now. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to the rest of the season. And that is all I really have to say. So anyway, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's get right into this episode right now. God, the shit was so brutal, bro. Are we still in the future? Oh, shit. Yes. Just go back in time. You shouldn't have to be dealing with this. He looks serious, though. I was expecting it to look a lot worse on that crash, but clearly it was only kind of the bottom half that got the damage. Maybe he needs to be here. Maybe he needs this image in his mind. So whatever he does, does in the past, he knows he can't let this happen again. What's the deal with funerals in Japan? Whenever I see funerals in anime, they don't have like a coffin or anything. Do they always just cremate them or what? Yeah, bro, he's just paying his respects. What the fuck? Okay. It's a funeral. He's paying his respects. What is with these people, man? He, he had a close connection with her. Just let him stand. It's the first time getting to meet her mother, I think. Is this a necklace? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oof. She, she's charred up. Alright, yeah, she was, in, she was in an explosion, wasn't she? Maybe the reason as to why there is no coffin, but still, I don't ever see coffins in anime, so I don't know. Oh, Akon. Is this why he did it? Oh. That's fucked, man. What happened now? What happened in this timeline? You can still do it. I think. Probably. Yeah, ooh, yeah, there's something else then. He's got to do it. That's what I've been saying since the start. He may as well just stay in the past and redo everything. I want to see what Mikey and Jirakan are like in this age. I think we need to get a perspective of them before he goes back to the past. I don't know. Tokyo Descent Detention Center. Who are they going to see? Oh. Is this Jirakan? Death Row? For what? Death Row in Japan? How does that happen? Who the hell did he murder? Is the question. Yeah, he, he's still him. That's good. Ooh, what is it? This fucking guy again. We haven't even met him properly. Oh, we gotta fuck this Kazaki guy up. And where is Mikey? What the hell? Oh god, who did he kill? He killed a lot of people. Jesus Christ, Ken. Alright, so we get rid of him. However, it's clearly very hard to get away with murder in this story, so... And again, it's not for Toman, apparently. Or the dark side of Toman, I should say. How do you even become a commander in Toman, though? Like, they are some crazy freaks in the commander spots. Yeah, good question. Why did you dump her? I can't wait to find all these mysteries out, though. It's going to be so good. Are you in a... You... I was going to say, yeah, are you in a bathhouse or something? What the hell? <laughs> Hello, Mikey. Look <laughs> <Okay>, again. <laughs> no, I get it, I get it. Shampoo in your eyes, horrible. Mikey's fucking dead, and Ken has cool hair. Ken looks cool with that hair down, not gonna lie. Oh, he's just got a cool scar, hasn't he? Very cool. Oh, I thought he was gonna punch him in the dick then. <laughs> Everybody else in the bathhouse is like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love these guys. I just want these three as leaders of Toman. 
I be I just want them even in the future. I just oh, I can't wait to see the I know it's far away, but I can't wait to see the end of this story. Oh, this music is so hype. Oh. It's not going to be Takamiji. Shit. All right, so that was Tokyo Revengers episode 13. Oh, what a such a good episode, holy crap. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing how Takemichi is going to grow and evolve now. Um, he has his mission in the past now. There's this one guy who, every timeline, he seems to be the the reason as to it all going wrong. And he's the reason that Toman goes down such a dark path. Seeing Ken on death row is crazy. And he didn't just kill one person, he killed multiple. Um, but yeah. Super, super looking forward to this now. The rest of the season is going to be so good, I can tell already. Um, I'm like, I really am fucking with the idea of uh, Takemichi staying in the past for as long as that will take. I don't know whether it's his whole life up until the point of he's like, what, 26? I don't know. But yeah, really, really excited to see more kind of past scenes and more kind of the of the inner workings of Tomen, I suppose. But yeah, overall, really good episode, and that is all I really have to say. So, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.